booming bass lines, on stage explosions. For fans of electronic dance music, the louder the better. But for people in surrounding neighborhoods, concert noise is a nuisance. Just boom, 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 echoing through my bedroom. So you can just hear the rumbling, basically, even with the door shut. This is where Jeremy Bridge comes in. The Calgary engineer invented a technology that promises to keep loud music limited to concert venues. Kevin, turn it up a little bit more. Even if that venue is an open field. What we've done is we've put robotics in loudspeakers so that the loudspeaker can control the direction of sound. So if you see the loudspeaker behind us, this big sort of bar. The of big speakers. sort of bar of speakers is called yeah. a line array. Mm -hmm. And the gray louvers uh, allow us to control sound in the horizontal plane. They allowed us to make it more narrow or steer it left or steer it right. So uh, the way I picture this is almost like a spotlight with a, the way the spotlight yeah, controls the light. That's exactly right. It's like you're focusing the sound. Jeremy Bridge developed his speaker technology with a grant from the National Research Council of Canada. Initially, his speakers became a hit for their ability to deliver clean, clear sound directly towards the audience. He's helped the Broadway hit musical Hamilton achieve that audio oom and provided a massive sound system needed for Mexico's electric daisy carnival. Attendance, 100,000 people. Oh, because the... Uh, but just the as often, the he's called upon to make sure music does not bleed into the surrounding neighborhoods. That's what brings him here to Kitchener, Ontario. We had 100 complaints, so that was the highest we've ever had for any, any kind of event in the city. Last year, the noise from Ever After Music Festival attracted the ire of local residents, putting bylaw officers on high alert and Ever After's reputation on shaky ground. They brought in the technology is specifically designed to be able to focus sound and keep it away from residential areas. So we had done a lot of pre-prediction. Yep. So. The day before the concert, Jeremy meets with the local authorities. They go to the area that most noise complaints last year came from, about two kilometers away from the venue. I'll tell them to turn it up a little As more. Jeremy Bridge tells his technicians to pump up the sound at the venue, he and the bylaw officers each look at the decibels of sound their handheld meters are detecting. They're allowing for worst case scenarios like wind and rain, which can make sound travel in unpredictable patterns. I'm actually quite excited to see how this works. I've spoken with other municipalities that um, other promoters have used this technology in their city and it's been successful, so I'm hoping for the same outcome here. But the real test of Jeremy's invention happens when those DJs actually hit the stage the next day. So this is Friday night, traditionally the quiet night of the festival. And yes, it's pretty loud already. And as the weekend goes on, and as the night goes on, it's just going to get louder. The bylaw officers are already here, making sure the levels they agreed upon with Jeremy are respected. So far, things are looking and sounding good for everyone involved. Still, Jeremy Bridge thinks it's too soon to celebrate. Yeah, of course I get anxious because we're here to do a good job and we want to make a difference. Like, me, I personally want to make a difference because I come from music culture and I want it to continue to thrive and this is my way of helping to keep it thrive. A true success is if everyone's happy by the end of the three-day festival. Yeah, how many days has it been now since the fest? Three, four days, I guess? Yeah, four days. Yep. And how are we doing? <laughs> so we check back in with Gloria McNeil to see how many complaints she received. I think it was a great success. We went from 130 complaints last year down to six this year. But Jeremy Bridge has no time to celebrate. This weekend, he's in Ottawa, working for the second year on its Escapade Electronic Music Festival, mending fences between music fans and neighbors who just want some peace and quiet, one loud festival at a time. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Kitchener, Ontario.